Hello everyone and welcome to another video of mine today. Uh, this video is going to be an incredibly quick guide on how to use the NVIDIA reshade. Uh, obviously you do need the NVIDIA cards and you will need something called NVIDIA GeForce. Uh, but as you can see it will just give you a very quick and simple uh, reshade for Microsoft Flight Sim or any game really. Uh, but yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so load up GeForce NVIDIA Experience. Uh, you want to go to the settings up here and just click enable experimental features um, and then make sure Microsoft Flight Simulator isn't running or any game that you're using. Uh, so just have this running, tick this button, close it. Some people do require a system restart, but I have never needed that. So if it doesn't work the first time, then yeah, just reset your system and uh, retry basically, just load up the game afterwards. So once you've done this, we're just gonna load up Microsoft Flight Sim. Okay, so we've loaded into the sim. Uh, you set up the GeForce experience and all we're going to do is press left alt and F3 careful of the F4 button so left alt F3 and it will bring up this game filter now it will be off by default uh, you can see under one here I have my already preset but yours will be off so press one or two either rider and you're just going to add the filters so we've got color details and brightness contrast so you add filter, uh, brightness, contrast, color, and details. And you can drop these down. So I'm gonna go back to my original one here and we can see color. So if I drop this down and here's the settings I have. So the tint color is 36, uh, tint in intensity is 14, temperature 12, vibrance 12. Details, we've got sharpen 10, clarity 50, HDR toning is 60 and bloom is five. And then brightness and contrast was scroll down. So exposure zero, contrast 32%, highlights 30, shadows minus 24, and gamma minus 12. Set these up, or you can have it however you want. Play with these if you want, or if you want the same as what I've got here, they are. Um, I will have a link down below to a screenshot of these as well, uh, along with my Microsoft Flight Simulator settings. So if you want to copy exactly what I have, feel free to. So once you're happy and you've played around with the settings, you hit done. And that's it. That is quite literally it. And you can see... The, the difference it really makes. If I zoom up here a little bit, we'll look at the ground over there. And if I just go back in, oh, F3. And if I just turn this off, you can see the difference. It brings so much more vibrance and color. It just, it, the default to me just looks grainy, washed out. Uh, but as soon as you put this on, it there it is. And performance wise, I notice literally zero difference. Obviously, people's systems may vary. Uh, some people may gain uh, zero performance loss or gain uh, zero performance loss or maybe lose a couple of frames. But again, for me and for others that I know that use this, it has zero impact. Uh, but obviously, some systems do vary. I hope you found that really helpful uh, today. And yeah, any questions, any comments or anything or anything, drop a comment below and I will do my best to help. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it and happy flying. Take care. Bye-bye.